Whoa, below bro. You know. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I see. And I feel great when I am going back to Blue Pro! <laughs> so sorry, I was just sending some texts or messages to Mr. All. Popular Adome, he's going out for the weekend. <laughs> going out for he's the weekend. He's making his plans. He's making his plans. And now all we have to do to go on those plans is hit the enter button. Which he did. Ah! Send. On Saturday night, we had a cool pizza place that cooks pizza in a real pizza oven. What? Little did you expect when the chef opens the oven to get your pizza, Damien appears from the flames! Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how does that work? Can he teleport through fire? Has he been waiting inside the oven all this time just to make a kick-ass entrance? Ah, the mystery! My dude! <laughs> I fucking hate needing people's help, but I might need yours. Don't let it get to your head or I'll stab you so I don't have to owe you anything. Enough threats! Here's the deal, fuckhead! I might or might not feel attracted by your buddy, Adem. Ooh. Oh. You know the one. Always making absurd choices, being equal parts stupidly sexy and stupidly... sexily stupid. And with the nice booty. Nice booty! But I don't want to get my feelings hurt by rushing into love with proper judgment. My dads always say, if you love someone, shoot them and see what happens. <laughs> Great fatherly advice, right? Thing is, Principal Giant Spider, my therapist, and the rule of law all seem to think that shooting someone to check if they're the one is not very legal. They have strongly recommended that I do all that on what they call a theoretical level. Like imagining the whole thing. But imagining is for losers, and since you both knew, know Adam, and are a loser yourself, I thought you could tell me what would Adam do if I were to shoot him. <laughs> you have the power. Adam is all about getting shot. He goes to the doctor every day just to get the shot, and shots are the only thing he does when partying, so I think you can give him a shot. Um, give me the second one, I'm gonna be right back. Poofed. Believe it or not, if you were, if you were to shoot Adam, he would not be into it. Hashtag true story. You want number two? Yes, please. Number two! Yeah. Oh. What? Ah. Uh, uh, what? Uh, so... He's just another vanilla dickwad who thinks getting shot is not cool. Next thing I'll hear... Next... What? Next thing I'll hear, he also thinks getting stabbed is off limits. What is he thinking? That if we rob a bank together, the police will, I don't know, give us free cuddly <laughs> hugs? <laughs> that he's all excited. I think Damn, somebody gave to the door. I don't even need the money. I'm a fucking prince of hell. I just rob banks for the thrill. And because I get to get shot... For free. This is outrageous. I'm out. Ah. This time he doesn't go back to the pizza oven. He just takes an Uber. <laughs> How does demon transportation work exactly? Anyway, you messed up at Ham's chance with Damien. But at least you saved him from getting shot. Who cares? Your pizza is ready and you gain a charm. Damn. Wow. Damn. All Danny, right. let Damn. me down. Danny, you screwed it up. You screwed it up you for me. You screwed it up for everyone. Bonjour, no. Are we just like, just because of the debate? Well, no, oh, well, it was the negative. I intended that. You know. Yeah, you're, you're ruining things for Jason. You're ruining things for me. Yeah, you're not... this, is, this is kind of revenge for uh, oh, when Jason sabotaged me in like our first series. Oh, sorry. Player order is decided based on who is likely to be hiding corpses in their basement. Start debating now. Um, well, well you guys live together. you two are here. <laughs> I live in a basement, so I also I live in a basement. There's a lot wow. of basements. Yeah, we're Basement dwellers, okay. Yeah. Um, who do you think is the one who's hiding the corpses in their basement apartment? I feel like you and Denny could could be tag teaming a uh, corpse hiding operation. See, I think Denny would be the one covering it all up because he's making all of our assets as if he's trying to kind of make up for the fact that he's just trying to look to totally normal. Okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm just there. Look, I, I have a so. fiance and she's a lovely lady and I don't think she'd be okay with the corpses. So I, I don't think that's an opportunity. I have a wife and she's a lovely lady and she'd also be into the corpses because I want to go first because it's most likely. <laughs> well, you can go first and have your uh, stats blocked by the extremely fast. I don't know, we're all in basement no, apartments. I vote on randoming this. I think this is a random answer for, yeah. Sure. All right, let's see. Also, sorry for stepping away. I just had a couple of friends stop in. So there's more people in the basement now. There is. There's... 
Bye. 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 Bye, people. They're not bodies, though, just to be clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would, would that have meant I won? I, I guess. think so. I think so. Uh, All right. Okay, it's well, the last. I can't see my stats. Um, Where do you want to go? Let's go. Charm. So that leads to the, the gym. gym. Again, yeah. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place, but the match isn't as important as the human interaction within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts. You gain two charm. Ray. You see Miranda in her gym outfit at the far end of the gym's swimming pool. Mm. Wait, the gym has a swimming pool? Why aren't you using it? Why are you always playing dodgeball? Why don't you get to see your classmates in swimsuits? Anyway, as you approach Miranda, she shrieks and her merman bodyguards tackle you to the floor. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> are you here to kill me? I, I'm just a better swimmer. It, it, this is no base for an assassination. nation. <laughs> assassination? <laughs> Wait, you don't swim. <laughs> you don't have fins. And without gills, you'll just choke right away. Could you help me with uh, this situation? I'm the best swimmer in school. My parents say that it's because... Uh, Wow, that's not at all what it says. It's because <laughs> <laughs> my parents are just adding words. Uh, my parents say that it's just how it's supposed to be, but people sometimes get just too jealous. My dad used to send such a hoodlums to a farm, <laughs> but now it says I'm not even 11 anymore, so I have to learn to deal myself with the people who my uh, the microphone's really close to my face now. Thanks, Denny. <laughs> Uh, who might plot my assassination. I have no idea who's even behind this. Can you help me catch these jealous people? How about the charity swim? You won't participate and whoever comes first gets a ticket to the farm. Quantity over quality. Mines! Loads of mines! <laughs> <laughs> Those ones that make beeping noises with big chains and spikes, they're bound to catch someone or at least smear the message across the ceiling. Uh, we're gonna do the uh, first one, yeah. Charity swim? Yeah. Ooh, so smart. <laughs> That's a delightful idea. We can make it a charity for Surfs Without Masters. You know, those sad ones with someone to give them orders around. I think they're called free people. <laughs> 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 and I have a, a list of far uh, farms for my parents, like this one. Racho Relaxo, uh, but with fire instead of relax. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does that make it Firo no, I think it's Rancho Firaxio. Uh, Firaxio. Firaxio? Yeah. They're not very good at naming, but that's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they're quite good at fire. <laughs> your idea worked! We we'll probably should have a talk about your mm -hmm. pet to get too fun and a smart. Hey. Right. Oh no, it's Denny's turn. Denny! He's talking uh, to his well, friends. Well, he sabotaged me, so... Uh, Jason. Ah, uh, fine. Is he coming can't back? can't sabotage Denny. Oh. Send him to class. I should send him to class and make him have 15 smarts. I'm sorry, I'm back. We could have also paused. Okay, sorry. So, uh, the only person that's gone so far is Adam? Yeah. He went to the gym. I am so charming right now. <laughs> Oof. Um, Don't say so yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Take me to the washroom. Uh, to the bathrooms. They, they, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold, you will kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. That monstrous act would instantly give you 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep to boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. <laughs> Later, you see Liam rolling his eyes at his phone. You ask him what's up before he can roll them right out of his head. I'm having trouble with my status on Facebook. I expressed a positive opinion about bug manicures, which I obviously meant ironically, and now my so-called friends are responding with blatantly unironic pictures of themselves with centipedes glued to their nails. I know being aloof and misunderstood is my brand, but I want to be misunderstood on my own terms, not theirs. What kind of status could I post that would be idiot-proof? Flat out post that everyone currently reading this status is an idiot. 
Vague blog. Vague <laughs> blog for your life. <laughs> um, mm. I have no idea what that means. So let's just call everybody an idiot. All right. You're on with the first one. Yep. Ooh, oh, no. that's also bold. If there's one thing idiots don't understand, it's their own idiocy. Oh, no. If I post a status like that, it'll be the one thing everyone takes. Uh, it'll be the one time everyone takes it ironically. they will all use the more ha 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 react button. And then the wings up of approval. <laughs> Ugh, never mind. <laughs> Open and honest communication online. You are the idiot. You lose three. Nice. Three swords. Wow. Should have gone to class. Oh, wow. Boy. All right. All right. All right. Are you going to go to class? Uh, How am I doing stance wise? I think you I'm. sevens across the board. Yeah. I apparently went for the nice middle mark. Uh, Let's go outside. That seems like a popular thing to do. All right. Red J, during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small magical <laughs> Latino cat. You start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one, the one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people or so burst into hysterical laughter. Wow. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns <laughs> it into too fun. <laughs> You're taking a break with Scott, Damien, and Vera when the whole wolf pack comes stomping over. Oh, I'm not friends with these guys. <laughs> oh, great. It's these boneheads again. I wonder what they want. Hey, Scott. What's up, dog? <laughs> and non dogs. <laughs> Eat shit, you fucking flea farm. <laughs> Whoa, Damien, calm down. These guys are my cousins. <laughs> we're, even more important, they're my teammates. Oh, yeah? Well, if we're so important, how come we didn't see you at the dog park last full moon? Last full moon? Oh, wow. I don't remember. I was at the bowling alley of Damien and Vera, and, uh, and then it was, like, next morning, and I was naked and covered in blood. <laughs> oh, yeah, that night was rad. <laughs> We all wake up naked and covered with blood after a full moon, Scott. <laughs> but we wake up naked and covered in blood together. Oh, no. You know why? Because we're werewolves. The question is, are you? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm sick of these creeps always harassing Scott. We need to get rid of them. But how? Mm. Oh. <laughs> they're dead to throw, throw a ball, ball really, really far. far. <laughs> but they actually just hide it behind your back. A fiendish deception. <laughs> Stack Vera and Damien on your shoulder to make yourself as big as possible. Oh. <laughs> Both of those are funny. But what was Vera like? Um, I, I think the ball Probably behind your back would just be the mean thing, and she would like that. Yeah, I think she's about mm. that deception. I All don't right. think she wants to be stacked on anyone, in fact. Uh, option one it is. Yeah. So smart. Oh. With hands as swift as your wits, you snatch up Scott's football, which he always has, obviously, and execute the maneuver. The football! <laughs> we gotta get you! We gotta go! I'll get it! I'll kill it! <laughs> the wolf pack sprint <laughs> off in the direction you pretend to throw the ball. Scott starts to chase after them, but Damien stops him. Psst, dude, look over here. We've had the ball the whole time. Whoa! What? How did... <laughs> did you throw the ball in a dimensional portal? Yes. <laughs> we went, we bent the fabric of space and time just so we could give you back your ball. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did that for me? Whoa, <laughs> you really are my best friends. Scott lies down to chew happily on his football. While you bask in the warmth of your good deed, you gain plus two creativity and plus one charm. Yeah, more and more I'm disliking Scott, so I'm happy with my Vera decision. <laughs> so funny, right? <laughs> Fuck uh, Scott, get your shit together. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's the shop right now. Crap. Talk to Kajit. Uh, Kajit wow. has words to say. Wow, my stats are bad. Okay. I guess we'll go to class. They, they you are astonished by the new stuff you learn in class. Oh, yes, yeah, all the You new thought things. high school was all about doing stupid shit with your friends and trying to find true love. Who would have thought that class could actually be useful? What a nice surprise. You gain one valuable lesson. Good luck trying to use that in this game. And two <laughs> smarts. <laughs> You're chilling out, not murdering anybody, when Damien slinks up to you. He's hauling a large sack with the words, Definitely not the corpse, written on it. 
Hey, um, you're not gonna believe this, but there's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. <laughs> you never would have guessed. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm actually responsible for making this corpse, at least not with my lawyer present, uh, but let's just say that he and I apparently had different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body real quick. It would be extremely attractive thing to do. Oh, we already ruined my relationship with him. Luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You share your brilliant solution. Uh-oh. Uh, disguise him as a drinking father. No one will know the difference. <laughs> or you can chuck him in my garage. He'll blend perfectly in with my collection of vintage dead bodies. Hmm. Uh, I like the fountain. <laughs> I'm not particularly creative, though. <laughs> no. That's true. I think the dead bodies is bold, maybe? I, I mean, you, I think you've got a good chance I got. I think I'm going to go with option two and see what happens here. Hey! You throw the corpse Whoa. in the back of Damien's dread chariot and hoof it over to your garage. Holy hell, are these all yours? <laughs> <laughs> Some of these are total classics. <laughs> Elvis Presley, Amelia Earhart, Fuck, you've got three popes here. <laughs> I spent all this time trying to be a great murderer when the greatest murderer of all was right next to me the entire time. <laughs> Damien lovely lays his mangled corpse next to your pristine collector's items. A look of awe on his face. Joke's on him. You're actually just a really accomplished grave robber. You gained two smarts in one shot. Very nice. All right, everyone chooses an occupation. Say it out loud before clicking. Um, dance instructor, custodial oh. staff, I uh, dancer, uh, museum curator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys are going really nice. fast. <laughs> Mario and Luigi were plumbers. Player orders decided based on how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes called Hans and Rudolph would be, who, aside from saving a kingdom, are also the occupation. Well, like mine's a little on the nose, like. Custodial staff and plumbing, like that's it's, it's pretty similar. Similar. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. similar actually. Uh, uh, Jason, what did you say? I said dancers. Oh, I feel like Mario, or sorry, Hans and Rudolph, the dance instructors, is a little too yeah, like that's real. Also a little because <laughs> Rudolph, the Russian name, Russian dance instructors are all over the place. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Hans. They even like ballet. German, like, Austrian. But would it be funny to be an off-brand ripoff of Mario who? As we even have on our wall right here, has a Mario game, a dance game. Sorry, that's also true though. That's yeah, he, it he is already has a dance game. Hilarious to hear them bashing people while they stomp on them. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe instead of jumping, they're stomping. You call that triple axel? I know that. <laughs> this this that's one's. A th I think this term. one's rough. It's a tough one. I think we all one. kind of failed. At this uh, one, do you want to go? Do you want to go random? Are you guys okay going sure. random? All right. I'm down for it. Oh, shit, I'm not. Oh! <laughs> well, that's well, how the mockers do you won, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm like, yes. Where are we going? I think that's lunchtime. Lunch time. Lunch. Lunch time. Lunch. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where would you I, like to sit? Where would I like to sit? I would like to sit oh, right beside God. Vera. Oh, I have to talk to... Fine, I'll talk to that guy. <laughs> Vera and Liam? Yeah, I don't like Liam. You approach Liam and Vera's table to find them thoughtfully tasting several glasses of wine. The school has literally no rules, apparently. Ah, oh, wine, the most exclusive of beverages. Even a vampire such as myself cannot resist its class and allure. Do you know a lot about wine, then? I'm having dinner with the King of France next week, and I could use some pointers. France doesn't have a king anymore. That's what the media wants you to think. <laughs> so do you know about wine or not? Alas, in my centuries of living, I have only learned how to look good holding wine, not how to evaluate it. All I know is that it's I'm not drinking anything. Another glass of that one. Please. Vera points at the bottle of it. Polly's toilet wine <laughs> written on it in permanent marker. What I wouldn't give for an, ex un for an experienced sommelier to help us judge which wine is the best. You'll know nothing about the wine, but you're pretty sure some Samorias just make stuff up anyway. You suavely recommend. Mm. Try the sangria. It pairs well with seafood and blood. Or the tannins in this robust Marbet are an elegant way to mask the taste of poison. Perfect for diplomatic missions. Well, number two. Number two it is. Number two. Why would you want to disguise the taste of... Oh. <laughs> 
You're going to poison someone. Of course you are. You're always poisoning people. <laughs> Quiet. No, I'm not. <laughs> people in no way directly associated with me are always poisoning people. And soon they will strike again. <laughs> France has suffered under its unjust king for too long. Plus, he called me fat at my party once when I was 11. Who is this king you keep talking about? I'm telling you, France doesn't have a king anymore. Soon, Liam. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Vera is so thankful to you for solving her assassination problem. She lets you braid her snakes. You get bit a few times, but it's so, so worth it. Yeah, it is. Um, sure. Uh, it okay. looks so pretty now. Hmm. I don't know. Are you going after Damien? I mean, like, I feel like he's my only option. You've had really good luck with him. Right? Yeah, you yeah, you've been doing well. Well, we'll keep trying. Yeah, we'll keep trying. As usual, Miranda sits before her in immaculate array of carefully arranged oh, silverware. Oh, not this again. Damien, predictably, is examining her biggest knife. So this is the one for killing people, right? <laughs> what? Good heavens, no. This is a butter taker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it would be unseemly to use it on me. So what then? Am I supposed to use this scrawny looking knife to kill a dude? No, no, no. If you, want, uh, if you simply must kill someone mid-meal, it is customary to use the fish knife. This is merfolk court silverware after all. That tiny thing? I might as well wait for my victim to die of old age. <laughs> That's usually how it's done in my kingdom. Yes. That or poison. This is ridiculous. Yo, you there. Which knife would you use to kill a guy? And don't say the fish knife. The fish knife. The fish knife. <laughs> a spoon. Who what? Needs, you, you need, need blades, blades to kill, kill people? people? I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. That is so much more metal. Why didn't I think of that? I guess when the only tool you have is a knife... Every problem looks like a problem you should stab with a knife. <laughs> Thank you for opening my eyes to the world of silverware-related murder. But which spoon? <laughs> this is very important. Do you mean the teaspoon? Or the dessert spoon? Or perhaps the caviar spoon? No, no, no. None are more appropriate. What about this spoon here? The one with the jagged edges on it? Oh, you mean the murder spoon. <laughs> of course <laughs> not. That's for hard-boiled eggs. Damien nods thoughtfully, but pockets the spoon when Miranda's not looking. Looks like this school's about to get a lot messier. Da -da -da -da. Oh, da -da -da -da. She likes silverware because Ariel liked silverware. Can you take me to Polly? I see what this game did. Polly, Polly. Polly. Scott and Polly sitting together, laughing their metaphorical glasses off. Ba -ba -boom. Yo, Damien! Do Damien! Grr, I'm Damien, nope. look at my stupid red face. <laughs> I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up to revere a toxic version of masculinity, which has alienated me from my own true emotions. <laughs> you sound exactly like him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You do Vera. I'm Vera. I'm not... Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm very smart and my yeah, hair that's is what pretty. They, that's what they sound and like. And all my friends Spent. look up to me because I'm a strong, independent woman. <laughs> Scott, I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. <laughs> I'm not Scott. I'm Vera. <laughs> how can you tell? Because I said my name just now. <laughs> okay. What about you, Edome? Got any good impressions? Just one, but it's real doozy. Woof woof, it's me, Scott, a big a dog boy who is bad at impressions. Or look at me, I'm Polly, look at me, go. Uh, woof woof. Woof woof? Woof woof. I know you're doing an impression of me because you said my name, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think this sounds exactly like him! It, it does? Yeah. Remember that time we took that impressions class together and we had to introduce ourselves? Oh yeah. I guess I just said woof woof. It's me, Scott, a dog boy who's bad at impressions. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't tell you like that. I'm sorry, are you the real Scott? There's two identical werewolves in front of me, and I can't tell the difference. Polly insists on a smooching contest to determine who the real Scott is. Bo -bo -bo. I end up winning in more ways than one. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, hi, Polly. Interdimensional prince. <laughs> Girl, you doing it? Yep. All right. 
You're just trying to enjoy a meal in peace when space untwists itself to reveal the interdimensional prince! Most glorious hero, like the squad star, squid star, I found you. I've been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. A riddle that has vexed me for days, nay weeks. The riddle of how to change the ringtone on my new smartphone. <laughs> this interface is more torturous than my palace labyrinth. For real, you grab the princess wall and change his ringtone to butts, 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 all about those butts by the booty bros. <laughs> my hero, what seems difficult to me is trivial to you. And you even guessed what which ringtone I desired. <laughs> yeah, you did. A true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There's only one way I can repay you. By bestowing upon you a superpower of your choice. I can do that. <laughs> I'm the prince of another dimension. <laughs> I can do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about. <laughs> all kinds of crazy things besides use his phone, apparently. And he really only gives you two superpower options. Telepathy? Uh, and and I, I won't, won't quit. quit. Pick it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, the choice of a true gentle monster. <laughs> <laughs> with a wave of his magical wang, what? The prince imbues your ass <laughs> with boundless worth ethic. <laughs> your ass got imputed. Yep. By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. By night, it does your homework for you. <laughs> <laughs> All that work to make your buns super tight, you gain four charm. Ooh, nice. that's a lot of charm. That's a lot of buns. That's a lot of buns. Everybody, choose a brand. Say your choice out loud. Kellogg's. I was just about to say that. Uh, Got him. <laughs> Booked him. Volkswagen. Caramel. Because I live next to the factory. Um. Uh, right across the street. Yeah. Cadbury factory. Yeah, yeah. The onion. Ooh. Oh. Florida is decided based on how cool it would be to live in a nation ruled by the selected brand. Oh god! Everybody gets chocolate all the time. <laughs> oh yeah. I think I just see the world's first. dominated by the Germans. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? <No>. Volkswagen. <laughs> okay. What das I think Adam goes first. <laughs> Adam, what's in the chocolate, Adam? What's Car in the chocolate? Caramel. Is it or is it criminal? How <laughs> is it criminal caramel? <laughs> Criminally caramel. Criminal milk. How do they get the caramel in those chocolates? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do they put all that criminal in that little square chocolate? <laughs> Nothing lot, would be true. We're living in the mincing. onion world right now. Oh, oh that's <laughs> also true. Yeah, 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 that is that's true. We're already living in the onion world, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did I say? Kellogg's? I yes, think Kellogg's did. would be better than Volkswagen. I just, I just no picked offense, it. Buddy. You really just picked I, that I order. Mean, I just picked that order. I just wanted to keep it going, so I kept it going. All right, what do I need? What do I need? Um, you need a prom date. I do, I do. Yeah. This uh, is it, eh? Oh, Jesus. This, this is the last it's... turn. Yep. Go outside again, I guess. Outdoors oh, his is. last turn. He's going outside. Fun. That, that day, day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy, just like every other recess. <laughs> just, there's a lot of that. Everything is fine until Juan, the small magical Latino cat, asks you <laughs> what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. <laughs> really? But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Musica. Juan looks at you and... He asks you to teach him the groovy musaka. <laughs> In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the groovy musaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. <laughs> you run into Miranda accidentally. It's clumsy yet kind of cute and romantic. For a second, you suspect she rehearsed it. Ooh. Uh, hi. It's so funny to run into you here. So random. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> I've been wondering. I've got my weekly allowance today, but I can't come up with anything fun to do. It's not much, just a million. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps we could uh, come up with something. Hey, Gather? Ooh. Oh Damn. my. Ooh. Something practical and yet uh, amusing. A purge of your political opponents. I'd like to know more about you. Let's hire peasants to sing your story. Ooh. Oh, that's charming AF. Uh, let's do the second one. Second one it is. Oh, no. Rito, oh my Rito. god. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Peasants? 
peasants aren't suited to tell my story. <laughs> it's a serious subject that can only be licensed to gestures are allowed to reenact. Serfs get weird ideas from it. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's all <laughs> displacement from all the village for a monument to my birth somehow offensive. We don't want to give them a weird ideas or any ideas at all. <laughs> <laughs> Peasants with ideas get rowdy. <laughs> she asks you for a date idea and you suggested exposition? <laughs> you lose two smarts and one creativity. I'm uh, so sorry. Whoopsie. Oh, that's rough. Uh, that, that is, is rough. rough. Um, really thought that would work. I thought that would work too. I thought it was charm. Mm -hmm. Um, Take me to the gym. To the gym we go. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you convince them not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears, and you take advantage of that moment of weakness, throwing a ball at him. <laughs> you lose five mercy, a stat that might be useful in Monster Prom sequel, but uh, isn't now. And you gain two charms. You notice Liam and Miranda talking to Coach. They actually seem to be enjoying gym for a change. Something must be terribly wrong. <laughs> to go over to see what it is. Well now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of the youth, but allowing <laughs> you to make up your own sport seems a bit unorthodox, don't you think? Oh, but ordinary sports aren't even, are ever so dull and unrefined. Uh, I'm sure we in two could do much better. I've already got an idea, actually. I've had an idea for a sport since before there were even sports. I call it art. <laughs> no teams, no rules, just pure creative expression. I'll be the quarterback, of course. Art! Brilliant! We'll play with watercolors and sequins, and there shall be a, a sports bar in a uh, goalie, Lurier. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say, art doesn't really sound like a sport. Why? It doesn't have the word ball anywhere in it. <laughs> that's easily solved. We'll call it art ball. Oh, well, yes, that's much better, but let me ask you this. How do you score points in art ball, huh? Mm, Liam and Miranda both look at each other totally stumped. Their dream hangs in the balance. Time to step in. Ah. Oh. Obviously, the sports bar to science inspiration kicks to the metaphysical live backer who scores 11 points for each poem he successfully publishes in the Atlantic. Didn't you read the rule book? Don't you see? The points were, insi <laughs> were inside of us all, all along. along. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't feel like... Are, the, are these geared towards... An individual? I don't I know. think so. Because they're both on the are. same side. Yeah, they both would like him. Well, I think the Atlantic one... Must be Liam. It seems like it's Liam. Yeah, because yeah. it says metaphysical. Yeah. True. Uh, let's go with the first one, see what happens. I'm sure. not smart anymore, so it's probably going to fail. Uh, that's creative! Oh. creative. Oh. I'm sorry, oh. Denny. There's a rule book? Well, that changes everything. Can I see it? Ooh. Uh, you didn't plan uh, for this. You panic and hit coach in the face with your tennis <laughs> racket. Hey, that didn't feel like a rule book to me, sport. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sported the ruse. Retreat, retreat. Liam and Miranda <laughs> flee, leaving you to face coach. Coach isn't mad. He's just disappointed that your tennis swing is so weak. No! Oh, to help you out, he assigns you 200 push-ups and 100 deep bicep curls. You lose two fun and a boldness. Did I meet God? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh. Not that time. That sucks. Wow, I can finally go up in creativity. Uh, I think it's a little late for that. I don't know, you think? right? Maybe I should just like invest in boldness, but I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I can be bold. Let's do it. But they, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! <laughs> <laughs> the graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? Turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall! A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, Well, not bold as fuck, <laughs> but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain two boldness. 
Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> you could start doing something productive. Or you could put on your blanket and get up to some good old ghost <laughs> shenanigans. You're looking for someone, but you run into the person that might finally see through your ghostly deception. Apart from boring Liam. Hiya! <laughs> Wait. What's this? Another ghost? No, I cannot believe this. <laughs> <laughs> finally, somebody else noticed this. This is clearly Adam wearing a... I can't believe it's because it's just too cool to be true. Come on, it's not cool, not true. Shh, Liam. I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over mm -hmm. all your jealousy. So tell me, how did you die? <laughs> we have to share so much ghost gossip, or ghost sip, as I like to call it. Hmm, Ooh. good question. Time to improve a lie with another bigger lie. I was offered as a sacrifice. Do they go to party? Or I only tell how I die on the third date, boo. Ooh. Ghost wink. Ghost wink. That was clearly creativity. <laughs> Uh, I think this one could be creative. I, I think that's fun. I think that one's fun as well. Uh, it's fun and charm is what I think they maybe, are. Maybe, maybe. All right. Oh, God. I gotta go with the first one. Hey! Yay. Whoa! That's <laughs> just stupid. <laughs> you mean stupidly awesome? Amazing. No, just plain stupid. Also, which god of party? Dionysus? And Cassie, the deer person? <laughs> Who cares, you party pooper? I'm just saying his story has more holes than the actual holes cut out of the blanket that he's clearly wearing. <laughs> Shut up, Liam. Maybe we should sacrifice you to the god of party. You don't like such bad vibes, and because of that, you start dancing. <laughs> Polly joins too. Ghost dance! I swear, I'm going to follow you around until you take off that sheet. <laughs> Not a chance, but for now, ghost dance. <laughs> also, you gain two creativity and the fun. <laughs> Very hey, nice. You still got your creativity. I did get it in the end. Okay, um, I've oh. never been to the auditorium. But that's for, that's creativity? Yep. That, creativity. Yeah, yeah I want to go to the art zone. All right. And I'm just like a knight. I like it. That, that day, day while rehearsing <laughs> for the class play, you totally forget your lines. That's it's me. terrible. But you don't let that get you down. You start improvising all your lines, and it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of the play in unexpected ways. That's saying something, since half your improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears. <laughs> you gain two creativity. Whoa. 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 Shook. <laughs> shook. <laughs> Straight shook. <-a. laughs> Soon after, you hurry in to join Vera for an after-school rendezvous. She's arranged a romantic evening at... The Stock Exchange? Yes. Nothing there sexier you are. than. I'm so happy you've joined me here that I have momentarily forgotten my hatred for all being. You. What? You thought we were going to dinner? No, Philly. How am I supposed to make a profit at dinner? <laughs> <laughs> if you're hungry, just eat some money. <laughs> There's plenty of it laying around. Look, I invited you here because I wanted to share something really special with you. You see all these people here? These sociopaths dreaming at each other in $10,000 suits? This is my family. <laughs> <laughs> well, not literally. I never met my birth parents. It's more like a room full of my worst enemies. <laughs> but what's family after all but a room full of your enemies? There's a certain truth in that. Anyway, enough chit chat. The real reason I brought you here was to help me make money. <laughs> make with the stock tips. <laughs> You know absolutely nothing about the stock market. True. But that's never stopped you before. <laughs> You're, it you tell has. Uh, Buy one of everything. Not at all. All we need, all is, we each need other. is each other. Yeah, Holy that's crap. a big fail. She's not going to like that. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm into wins, so obviously buy one of everything. Buy one of everything it is. Not, not, not so, so bold. bold. That has got to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And I've heard Scott talk about his favorite butts to sniff. Oof. <laughs> One of every stock? Do you know how many stocks there are? You do not, in fact, know how many stocks there are. You guess six? <laughs> Significantly more than six! <laughs> <laughs> and most of them are things like Gremulo's Dale's Fish Salads and sh Shitty Business LLC. <laughs> oh, look, here's one called Money Hole. It's a tech stock that promises to be a brand new way of basically setting your cash on fire. <laughs> or why don't I invest in this one? 
Wraith book. <laughs> the social oh, network no. for Wraithists. Oh, God. Oh. This is a but terrible even idea. even if I bought <laughs> all these terrible stock, it wouldn't nearly surpass my worst investment by far. All the time oh. I've invested in you. Oh, oh no. I should have flirted with her. Take me back. Did you flee home and order one of every flavor of ice cream? <laughs> undo, 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 you undo, undo, undo. You too charming to money. Oh, was, now is the time. Like, that hurt me. Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm actually, I don't, I, I'm going to go home. The monster prom <laughs> draws near. Who will you ask to prom? Oh, Come on, God. that's me. Miranda. He's taking Miranda. Your last chance you confirmed. Would like to ask Miranda yes. to prom? I'm going to try even though I failed All right. Hi. Who would you like to ask to prom? Uh, uh, I I really went all over the place. Uh, yeah, this is Steve. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I think the most point. Oh, I'm, you, I, no wait. That's I'm gonna try for Polly. Polly? Yeah. yeah. Let's just ask Polly. All right, Polly, it is. Ah, uh, yes, I would like to ask. Yes. Because oh, I think the... I gotta go with Damien. Yeah, your boy. I gotta try <laughs> it. I gotta try it. I'm not confident, but good. You shouldn't be. I've sabotaged you. I mean. It's between Scott and, you know, my girl. Yeah. Vera just, like, gave me a flat no, but maybe she'll forgive me? Is that, like, a trend in this game? Uh, uh, you'll just have to see and find out. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, so we, we haven't really noticed. Like, I have aced it thus far with Vera. Have you? I have. Yeah. I have not fucked up once. Except for the last time. Yeah. You I, very well could just give it a shot. I'm going to yeah. give it a shot. I mean, like, Scott likes me, but, like, I like it. There it's it is. Platonic. You gotta go for what the heart wants. I want her. I want her snakes. Okay, so everybody read Ever their own flavors. You finally puck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. <gasps> wow! <laughs> not a chance in the world, darling. Oh, no. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> and by that, I mean it's you. No. See ya! Oh. Wow, what the mean. loser! After that, you were forced to abandon your home and join the underground society of sad people who couldn't get a date for Monster Prom. Which is a fancy way of saying you had to live the rest of your life in the fucking sewers. <laughs> oh. Wow. Gross. Um, well, wow. that's sad. Okay. No way am I going to prom with someone uh, that can't properly help me when I'm being harassed by an interdimensional prince. Uh, that... I'm hot as hell. So that situation happens more often than you'd think. Oof. Peace out. Uh, you fucking, <laughs> you sucks. fucking suck. Why did you decide to ask anyone to prom while wearing a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> you pretend to be a ghost, yet you're the one haunted by the ghosts of your failures. Oh, no. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You finally pick up the courage to ask your beloved to go to monster prom with you. You're asking me to go to the prom with you? Have you seen yourself oh, in a mirror? That's, that's oh. too good. Your face is a crime oh. against humanity. And not one of the crimes against oh. humanity I enjoy. Oh. I was hoping that would go yeah, the opposite direction. Yeah, it would direction. go the opposite direction, right? Bye, loser. Bye, loser. Bye, loser. <laughs> this wow. father has haunted you for the rest of your life and you never moved on, becoming a total in a constant failure. You will never succeed in anything again. <laughs> oh wow. my god. Except for the time that you won mon uh, Monsters Got Talent, but your talent was being a failure oh. at love. <laughs> <laughs> it astonished everyone how bad you were at romance. So oh. We're 0 for 3 so far. <laughs> Not any less sad, though. <laughs> Adam? Here Adam! You finally pluck up the courage <laughs> and ask your believer to go to the Minster prom with you. Are you asking me to go to the prom with you? <laughs> it's exactly. <gasps> oh shit! Have, oh! Have you, as the ancient philosophy people told, you see, two centuries ago, a seer, uh, a seer predicted that one day the Mer King. Uh, Mer Kingdom would be shaken by a violent monster who would ask a Mer Princess to prom, and ah. they would engage and be very nice and have a very nice evening together. <laughs> it wasn't the most useful or relevant of her prophecies. If you think about it, but I don't care. You, <laughs> yes. Well done. <laughs> this you is got it. <laughs> You're the date fate. Oh, I was oh, gonna read that. Oh, I, I went over. Uh, that. Okay. Um, so let us face fate together uh, and lead us through this magical night. This is the first time I've seen I've, Miranda yeah, taking a prom. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice prom prom outfit. Oh, yeah. so cute. You look gorgeous. 
At several points in the evening, people broke into songs, singing about what a magical night it was for the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Even some forest animals appeared to join in the songs. You're quite sure Miranda's family paid all those people to do that, but who cares? Still a magical night. Well done. Congratulations, Adam wow. Brewer. Two for three. Wow. Holy crap. Well done. Yeah, because you also won Polly in another one, didn't yep. you? Yeah. Well. Uh, good for you. You're yeah. the Monster Palm champion. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, on, I, I'm the most likely to start a cult, so uh, congratulations to me. Yeah. Man, Vera is mean. Yeah, I know. I, right? You're all here from. I'm not going to go Ooh. after her if I'm playing this game again. Oof. <laughs> I am. I don't think I can recover from playing this game again. My heart right? is like ripped. I have. I don't think I've won yet. <laughs> like my heart just keeps getting torn apart. It's real sad. But like she was oh. so into me for all of it until I just went like, "Yo, put stocks in everything." Like that's yeah. a good oh, idea. Oh, one time, one time. Right. right. Oh, thank you, Adam and Adam, for joining us on the show. Other Adam Brew has run off to the washroom, um, but Adam McQuaw, thank you for uh, coming on to the show and playing Monster Prom with us. Hey, thank you for having me. It's been really fun. It's uh, completely different activity than not playing Monster Prom with you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. Like yeah. this is nothing like dodgeball, or is it like, you know, grammar? Yeah. And uh, hopefully we see more of you, and uh, eventually you and I will get that third video up on uh, Three, Two, One, Draw. Yeah, it, it might, probably post wedding. <laughs> probably post wedding. Yeah, if um, you guys are interested. Links in the bottom. Take a look at Adam and Denny's co-pro channel that, I don't know, do you call it Above Pro? No, it's 321Draw. 321Draw has nothing to do with your... Yeah, yeah no, it's not... Uh, Adam see, started it. I, I was trying to make some sort of joke. It didn't go anywhere. Well, funny. I'm offended, oh. frankly. <laughs> you lost two more viewers. Oh, I, uh, I made it all the way to subscribing. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll just do it. I'll just go away. Just, <laughs> just don't... Uh, to spike your interest, the video that we're currently working on is that we're drawing Assassin's Creed Assassins as uh, Borderlands. Borderlands. In the style of Borderlands, and we're also tweaking their costumes to be more relevant to that world, too. Yeah, uh, I'm doing uh, Edward Kenway. And uh, I actually don't remember the name of the character I chose. I thought you were doing Evie Fry. That's what it was. You're doing Miss Fry. It's been a while. Yeah. It has been a while. It literally has been a while. Like, a long while. It has. Whew. We'll get this wedding over with, and uh, then they'll be married, and then I can draw again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time on Below Pro. Bye bye! Goodbye! Hey, it's 3, 2, 1, draw! Hey! hey let's... Quick, draw something! You're drawing dicks. I was trained. Classically trained. Renaissance. <laughs> Renaissance dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Which are leaves. <laughs>